As reported by Automotive News, Carvana job cuts triggered market sell-off reactions and staff backlash on social media. Carvana Company's disclosure Tuesday that it shed 2,500 employees set off a ripple of reactions in the stock market and among social media users who said they were employees included in the layoffs. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth with a brief and urgent automotive news update on the reaction to Carvana layoffs. On Twitter and Reddit, several people who said they worked at Carvana wrote that they received little or no heads up from the company that they would be let go Tuesday. Well, at least Carvana is consistent. (laughs) They gave little or no heads up to all those car buyers out there who couldn't be getting their car title. Some employees posted screenshots of an apparent company-wide email Carvana CEO Ernie Garcia III sent early Tuesday morning before official layoffs occurred later in the day. The ultimate cheesiness. Consider this email your layoff notice. He couldn't even look them in the eye and deliver the news himself. Well, little cowardice there. Yeah. The email which Carvana did not confirm or deny to Automotive News said the layoffs come as the company is grappling with financial fallout from high inflation and interest rates, dwindling customer and investor confidence and supply chain disruptions. And uh, they neglected to say missing car titles. (laughs) The impact of all these forces on our industry has been severe, Garcia said in the email. All-time high car prices are slowing sales to recession levels. We have managed to grow despite sales being down industry-wide, but we have grown a lot less than we planned for. The Wall Street Journal reported the email as genuine. As a result of these factors, Carvana finds itself out of balance, the email said. No No kidding. kidding. Our team is bigger than we need, and we can't be certain growth will rebound quickly enough to bring us back into balance, it said. Some social media users voiced their frustrations. I doubt Ernie 3 will lose sleep over it, said Ocelot11Ts wrote in a lengthy Twitter thread. To him, we are merely 2,500 replaceable numbers in his little vending machine castle of car money. Others posted that they were now searching for a new job. Some took to offering up career resources, job postings, and mental health advice to affected employees. On LinkedIn, former Carvana employees circulated a document to which other laid off employees could add their information in the hopes potential new employers will see it. News of the layoffs dealt another blow to Carvana's stock performance, which has been on a downward spiral over the last several months. Carvana stock price fell below $40 early in the week it sank to 30 bucks at the Wednesday market Ooh. close before recovering a little on Thursday morning. In August, the company's stock price rose to above $370, a high point amid a pandemic-filled frenzy for vehicles that could be purchased online. But customer demand has fallen since then. Carvana chose to cut costs by laying off employees because it knows that waning demand could stick around, according to analysts. Well, missing title complaints sure aren't helping, are they, Kevin? <laughs> Not much. The word from some of our information channels is that Carvana is being investigated for being a Ponzi scheme. Ooh. That's bad news. Yep. The concern is that Carvana is an unprofitable sales channel that was structured as a bankruptcy remote subsidiary of parent company DriveTime to siphon cash to insiders until the scheme collapses. Siphoning cash. In October 1990, Ernie Garcia II, who's Ernie Garcia III's father and a major stockholder in Carvana, Then a Tucson-based real estate developer pleaded guilty to a felony bank fraud charge for his role as a straw borrower in the collapse of Charles Keating's Lincoln Savings and Loan Association. Garcia fraudulently obtained a $30 million line of credit in a series of transactions that also helped Lincoln hide its ownership in risky Arizona desert land from regulators. Hmm. That news should help people involved with Carvana to sleep tonight. (laughs) Well... Remind our viewers what you said uh, yesterday, Liz. Don't buy a car from Carvana right now for any reason. Now, if you'd like to say thanks for our automotive news update video here today, the links showing up here will be easy to find down below. And if you enjoyed the video, we'd appreciate you giving us a great big thumbs up. And please always remember to comment and share with family and friends. And if you're not already on board with us, please don't forget to subscribe. The entire Homework Guy team is here to represent you, the car buyer, and that's what we strive to do in every video we produce. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. We We gotta gotta go. go.